throughout the Americas, tobacco, by itself and in combination with other sacred herbs, lies at the heart of the social, cultural, and spiritual life of American Indian nations. Among many Indian tribes, only herbal tobaccos were used exclusively for ceremony and healing, while for other tribes, tobaccos containing nicotine were also used. One of the most powerful ways in which the tobaccos are ritually smoked is during the pipe ceremonies. The sacred pipes are various in shape and design depending on the tribal culture. The great buffalo nations of the plains, with their Chanupa Wakan, their sacred pipe, prayed to the great spirit, creator, who in his form as the sun is called grandfather and as the earth is called grandmother. It costs you your health, your, your good mind. Your, we get really easily mixed up when we do those things. Um, and if it was just tobacco and those cigarettes, people wouldn't have such a hard time quitting. <laughs> but we know that that's not true. And so for young people, um, I would say to, to think real hard before you give in to um, to your own feelings and wanting to, to, to help yourself through them with smoking or give in to your friends because they think that you should smoke or to try it or, or whatever, to, to really look at, at that. And is that a part of you? Is that a part of your life? Is that a part of who you are? Baby. 
Cherokee. I am Onondaga. I am Oglala, Zuni, Ramsey, and Cree. I am Lakota. I am Mississauga. I am Ojibwe and Ohlone. Tobacco was very important. It was used in many ways. And one of the main ones is uh, when uh, somebody comes to your territory and uh, in no way to offend you, out of respect, they come to you with tobacco. My grandmother, who lived to be 87 years old, she had many ways that may seem strange to other people but I spent a lot of time with her. I learned from her. She was a cripple nearly all her life. Her name was Rose Rios. But one day she told me, I am Pelili. Kalentaruk. Rumsen. Retoxe. I am India. from this land. Then she would sing the songs, taught me all that she knew. I'd bring the herbs to her. She had to identify them, told me what they were used for. Because she was crippled, I had to bring them to her. Anything that I saw in that, that uh, interested me, I'd bring it to her and she identified it and told me the names. The song, the story, that I'll never forget. Those were her very words. She shed a little tear, came down her cheek, and she just let out. Of course, she didn't have a little drum, but she had her little hands, and she just started clapping. I am simple, so I play a song for you, creator of all things, Earth Mother. The young ones are here, so I play for the people of this land too, like that, that we can breathe, that we can learn to breathe again with purity in mind and heart.
day is simple. As I look into the Creator's eye, the fire before me, that is His eye, looking at us all equally, all as one people, native people of this land, South, Central, and North America, all connected, like the shell on the turtle. So I sing a song for the sacred tobacco people. Use a sacred drum. We heat the sacred drum to the fire to give strength to the skin, to give warmth to the body. So again, we offer a little bit of tobacco to the drum, to the skin of the Earth Mother. And another sacred instrument that the natives of, of uh, California here, the big sewer ev area, you know, they use a clapper. They use a clapper uh, made out of elderberry, like this. That's the one of the spirits, you know, to heal. Grandma Bernice, our grandma used to use this extensively, quite often, every day. One of the greatest things I ever heard and ever seen is Grandma Bernice Torres. So I sing a song in and, 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 uh, dedication to her for the woman that she is. So I'll offer a little bit of tobacco here. This tobacco here comes from 28 different tribes from South, Central, and North America. So there's 28, 28 sacred herbs all in one that I have here. For you, Grandma. You know, amongst, uh, amongst her people, they didn't use tobacco. You know, they used... Uh, Kishwa root, you know, which is uh, angelica for prayer, like that, the Kashaya Pomo. But I use tobacco. So I sing a song for her. Helene, Helene, ha, Helene, Helene. Helene, Helene, ah, Helene, 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 ah, Helene, ah, 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 Helene. So there's many ways, and there's many forms in the Native American life on this land, South, Central, and North America, on how we conduct ceremonies, and how we use, and how we pray with sacred tobacco. And everything that we have here is all sacred. The water, the earth, the fire, the air, and all the different instruments that are here. These are all good. 
And we treat them as such. We take care of them so they can last and last and last and last forever. As you pass on, you give them away. And, that, and those people will take care of it. And they will do the same in response and in respect to that. So the reverence of your words is very important. It has to be very, very strong. You have to be very connected like the fire, you know. You've got to honor that tobacco. You've got to honor your people with that tobacco. You've got to come from the heart. You've got to come from the mind. As the heart and mind work together as one. So we can all grow together. Offer that tobacco in a good way, always. Always ask first, and then offer it to the fire. Always say your prayer first. Offer it to the fire. You know, and when you do pray with tobacco, you know, just don't throw it in there like that. You got to take your time. Be in tune. Feel the fire. Feel the earth, the air, the surroundings. And then offer it in a real gentle and humble way with respect and honor and peace and dignity. Like that. So when you do it like that, it's sacred. And when it's and when it all comes together as one, grandfather already hears, he already knows that you come in a humble and respectful way. Your prayers from your words, your heart, and your mind will come true. So that's why you have to be very careful what you ask for. So I like to say thank you, grandfather and Earth Mother for allowing me to live, for allowing me to see and hear, to feel, to taste, to smell, and to use my higher self in this way of life, that I can continue to walk this journey in a humble way, that I can continue to do the things that I, that I am supposed to do. Father, thank you. Earth Mother, thank you for these special gifts, all my relations. offer to the, the tobacco to the drum, we're, we're asking the Creator to help our voices and our hands in order to make our, our music and our instruments make happiness for the people. And we ask the Creator to bring, bring beauty into our, into our words that we sing, into the songs that we sing. And so when we offer the tobacco, it's like prayers and uh, 
We're also we're also asking that you bless the drum so that only goodness comes out and that it that when it affects people that it affects them in a good way so that in their heart and in their mind that they can feel good and and the drum will be able to be to express that to them and that's why we we offer this tobacco in a sacred way and so that it also helps us to to focus on what we're supposed to be doing when we're singing I am Lakota, I am Mississauga, I am OJ. 